right in this area on May the uh, 17th, 2024, uh, uh, here on the, uh, this would be the corners of uh, Ashby and uh, Grand uh, on Main Street in uh, uh, Ashby, uh, a, a big dog was blocking the road and uh is a dog that i know that be with james o'connor and melissa walker who has multiple tickets for dogs both of them is on probation uh for these dogs and uh the judge on may the uh first 2024 i was in the courtroom because i had cases against them at the time and Melissa was locked up because she had a warrant for not showing up for court. And they held in there for two weeks in the Mississippi County uh, Jail here in Charleston, Missouri. Uh, but the judge told her that she's not to have any more dogs. She told him that, told the judge, I was there. Uh, we don't live here no more. And she gave them the address, allegedly gave the clerk the address in the court saying that, uh, they live in Minor and gave them the address to Minor. But on the 17th, James O'Connor and Melissa were seen with these dogs again. Uh, not just on the 17th, a few times in uh, Charleston, Missouri, uh, on Swank Street in the projects at 1.46 in the morning and then 6 something in the evening on that same evening, uh, they were seen with dogs. But James O'Connor, when I videoed to show he uh, violating his probation. Uh, he was walking down here with the dog with a wheelchair and I got him on tape, sent it to the police officers and called the police officer because James Con O'Connor, as he was walking down this road here, he made a threat to me, told me uh, that uh, he had a contract on my head. I didn't get a chance to get him when he called me the N-word because I didn't get up my camera. But James O'Connor has been on this land here, which is uh, blown to Rodney Jones and some of it to the city. But how is it that they looking for James O'Connor? A police report was made, but they so happen can't find James O'Connor. But this is the last place he went. This is Ashby going all the way down here. And I got a picture showing, I mean, a video showing him walking down here as he put the threat on me. Uh, and not only that, this fence supposed to be city uh, offense. And behind this fence is Rodney Jones, a black man, in uh, the city's property. But it showed James O'Connor closing this gate, closing the city gate. So, how is it hard to find an individual who girlfriend, both of them, wherever one is at besides jail, the other one is there and they gave her address. She gave her address. Melissa uh, uh, Walker gave her address to the court clerk on May the 1st, 2024, uh, saying this is their address in minor, which we know they ain't been in minor. Uh, and not only uh, to mention that, since then, James O'Connor has od off of drugs. You see, the city attorney's job is to provoke that. But I guess she won't do it because of Raymond Lewis Ivy. But I'm going to still expose. I'm going to still expose. He closed this city gate and went behind it with the dogs. The city has that information. But yet. A friend of mine that's a veteran that did 20 years for this no good country who don't have any respect for people of color. His daughter catch one little case, no other priors, and they give her five years probation. Another individual, a young man, his family is good people, military people. His whole family, both families, good people. He had an open can of beer in his, in his vehicle. No priors. Both of them work. Five years probation. But here it is, these white people, un, un, uh, uh, James 
O'Connor and Melissa Walker had violated their probation several times, trespassing. James Conner, I think, last year uh, hit a guy in the head with a two by four, locked up, knocked him out. James O'Connor been convicted of that, I believe, and he been convicted of manslaughter. But yet, by them being white, I don't care what nobody said, by them being white, how come he can't be found? I had to find Melissa uh, Walker when she had a warrant out for her for not showing up to court May the 1st. I found her, videoed and called the police right here in this property here, right here. They came and arrested her and James Conner. But let me show you another way they can get in. I wouldn't be surprised the people that letting them stay on that, on that uh, property over there <laughs> allows this because that's what Lester Gillespie and Rodney Jones deal with, the drug dealers. Look at some of my uh, videos, but most of the drug dealers and thugs is in the fe fed pen or on the run. Peace. Today, today is May the 17th, uh, 2024. It's about 821 uh, a.m. Uh, this scene, James Connor and the dog uh, come the dog was just blocking the uh, street just a few minutes ago. And James Connor is out here uh, with a wheelchair uh, with the dog. Look here, here go the dog right here. So James, there go James Connor right there with the dog. Look at this here, y'all. Look here. Now they don't supposed to have the dog now. You see this here? They said the dogs ain't theirs. The dog was just blocking the street over here on Main Street. But that's James Connor. You see the dog? You see the dog? Now, wherever James Connor at, Melissa, that James Connor is on probation six years, consecutive, uh, six years. He got uh, 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 probation six times for a year, all of them running consecutive, separate. You see, he know he can go right back here to Rodney Jones property and the city property because they ain't doing nothing about it. Ain't doing nothing about it. How you doing, James Connor? I'm doing just fine, Mr. Raymond Harvey. Okay, okay. Stupid dog, oh, is that what I am? You know it? It, Emma, Emma. Hey, oh. You say I ought to be dead? Okay. You you know where I live, don't you? You know where I live, don't you? Okay. Okay, that go the other dog down there. Y'all can see the other dog right down there. Oh, you got a contract on me. That's a threat right there. Okay. Okay, we go. That's a threat right there. Okay. All right. That's all I need to know. That's, that's all I need to know. You got a contract on me. That's a threat. There's James Conner and Melissa right there. James Conner and Melissa right there. He done already threatened my life. I don't know if he got a gun or not. You can see him coming towards me right now. But that's him and Melissa. Him and Melissa Walker, both of them is on probation about these dogs. You see him? That's James Conner, y'all. You see him? He, I got him on tape threatening my life. Said that they got a contract out on me. Him and Melissa with three or four dogs on probation. Supposed to be living in minor. That's what they told the judge on May the 1st, 2024. How many more times I'm going to have to call the police on them? He called it a snitch. This is another way to get in uh, on that property uh, that, that's uh, uh, owned by Rodney Jones and part of it by the city. But there's elder people live on this street, on, on Ashley Street, that see these dogs early in the morning, elder people. But they don't care because Robert Hearns, the chief of police, and Tabitha uh, Thurman Brown, they 
uh, make sure them white people is taken good care of, especially since Raymond Lewis Ivy is putting charges on them. But I'm going to expose y'all. You see what I'm saying? I try to give y'all the benefit of the doubt, but y'all a bunch of racist Ku Klux Klans in this town. Racist Ku Klux Klans in this town. Let's go around to the other place where they can get in the city property and Rodney Jones property, y'all. Rodney Jones, another felon, allowed these felons with dogs to come on his property. The city allowed them to come on their property. And I show videos of them just, the dogs just laying here and relaxing because they know these white supremacists got them covered. Now, if you're going if you're going to exercise the law, exercise the law right. You see what I'm saying? Y'all lock me up uh, in April of 2016 for videoing Lester Gillespie, one of y'all token Negroes, one of y'all house Negroes, uh, for coming by my house. See, he lived by all white people coming by my house in the black community, lying saying that I raped children. You can hear the dogs now. You can hear the dogs back there now. The police, if y'all looking for them, this is where you can find them at, because they can get in right over here. You know they back there. James, James uh, uh, Connor, O'Connor, and Melissa Walker. Y'all know they back there. Both of them in violated city uh, ordinance. Uh, James Connor done threatened me, so if you don't want to find him and he approached me, and then said that he got a contract on my head. What do you think I'm going to do to him? What if y'all, what would y'all do if another country said that they finna bomb this country? What you going to do? Now, I try to give y'all the benefit of the doubt. But y'all making me sick to my stomach. Y'all operate just like Adolf Hitler. I thank God that my dad and some more black men, some of them that even lost their lives, went to eliminate Hitler, but they knew when they was coming back home, it was just a worse situation like it is now. Racism. It was racism when they brought us over here in 1619, and it's racism now. Some of you black folks, instead of smoking this damn weed, uh, using this damn crack and meth and all that there and, and falling behind Lester Gillespie and Rodney Jones and these 99% of these sellout ass preachers. Send your children to be go to law school. Look at that sister Crockett in Texas. You see how he she's shutting Margie Taylor Green down and some of them other racist Ku Klux Klan. You see how these clans is falling behind Trump even though he was convicted 34 times of felons. You, oh Lord have mercy. One thing about me, if I have to fight this fight by myself, I'll fight it by myself until I die. I'm like Harriet Tuckman. That's two things that I have a right to. Liberty or death. You gonna give me one or the other. You see what I'm saying? One or the other. My type of work, y'all. Saving lives. 